DK Ag's weather camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. Good Friday evening. It's a mild one out there. Feels like spring with the mild temperatures and high dew point. 76 degrees in Bryan College Station. The southerly winds off of the Gulf of Mexico are what's helping set the stage for tomorrow's severe weather event, which we're going to get in a great detail about here in just a few minutes. Taking a look at radar, nothing going on across the Brazos Valley. A little bit of light drizzle is possible, but no really heavy concentrated rain over the next few hours. We focus up to the north and the west. Notice the showers and storms starting to develop across southwestern Oklahoma, northwestern Texas. This is along a cold front that's going to work south overnight tonight into Saturday morning. And these short these storms are actually going to move into the Brazos Valley in about 12 to 24 hours. We're going to time that out here in just a second. So we have this upper level low that's working into the four corners and we have some pretty fast winds associated with this upper level low just to the east of it. And this is what's starting to spark those storms as that cold front works its way in from the north and the west. Watch as this upper level low starts to move into the plains tomorrow afternoon. That's going to shift the focus for severe thunderstorms across the Brazos Valley. Let's take a deep dive and analyze exactly why we're going to be in a favorable position to see severe thunderstorms. So as that upper level low works its way into the plains, it acts as like a magnet. So it sucks up Gulf moisture into the Brazos Valley, pulls it into northern parts of Texas. So that's the first element we need for those severe thunderstorms. So we have those surface winds coming from the south and east, pulling in that warm, moist air. Then aloft with that upper level low, we have some pretty fast winds that are moving over the Brazos Valley. So this allows the storms, once they develop, to really start rotating, and that helps maintain those updrafts, producing the severe weather that we're going to see. Now we need a trigger. We have that in the form of that cold front. That's going to spark those thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, and that's why we're going to see some severe weather here in the Brazos Valley. Let's take a look at the future radar. Notice as we head into tomorrow morning, start to see the showers and storms working their way into the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, extending up towards Durant, Oklahoma, and then up towards Fayetteville, Arkansas. Keep an eye on this line of storms as it begins to work its way towards the south and the east around 1 p.m., starting to work its way into northern parts of the Brazos Valley. Let's take a little bit of a closer look in so you can see just exactly where those storms are. Again, working their way into northern parts of the Brazos Valley by 1 p.m. could see a few isolated storms developing out ahead of that main line. If we do see any, any, any of that activity develop along that main line out ahead of it, then we'll need to keep a close eye on that. Sometimes those storms like to exhibit signs of rotation, so we'll keep a really close eye on that for you. We'll fast forward this to about 3 p.m. That line starting to work its way towards Bryan College Station, so that's the best time we have to see severe weather here in BCS is between 2.30 and 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. Then as we head towards 8 p.m., you can see the lighter colored shaded regions, the light yellows, as well as those greens. That's indicating some cooler air starting to work its way in behind that cold front. So that means that that severe thunderstorm threat will shift towards the south and the east as we get those cooler temperatures temperatures in. So taking a look at the map, we actually do have a level one severe threat for parts of Brazos County extending up into Robertson County. You can see the level two is just to the east. That's where we're expecting greater coverage of severe thunderstorms. So Houston County keeping a close eye on it as well as Walker County. The closer you get to I-45, that's where we have the greatest threat for severe thunderstorms. So taking a look at what the main hazards are, damaging wind is what we're really concerned about. Could be a few storms that are able to produce some small hail, and there is a slight tornado threat. Uh, the best chance, again, going to be the farther east you go towards I-45, but we're going to continue to monitor this. We will have updates not only on air, but also on our website, kagstv.com. Temperatures cool down behind that cold front. Stay tuned. More